Avanil Kumar sharing with you questions from previous test paper. Here is the first question from this unit 9 test paper on vectors. So we'll discuss lines. The question here is a bird at P x of t f of t flies such that x of t equals 2, 10 t plus 4 and y t equals 2, 2 minus 5 t where t is greater than or equal to 0 in seconds. Distance is in meters. Identify the initial position of the bird, position of the bird after 4 seconds and speed of the bird. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now let's rewrite the point given to us, the location of the bird. It is x of t equals to 10t plus 4. Normally we write 4 first and then the parametric form 10t, right? Similarly for y of t, we'll write y of t equals to 2 minus 5. Now it is important to write the equation in the correct form so that you can read the values correctly. Otherwise you can do a mistake, especially in a test, right? Now here, the initial position of the bird is when t is equals to zero, right? So substitute t equals to zero. So if you substitute t equals to zero, you get x of zero equals to four, right? And y zero equals to 2. So initial position of the bird is 4 comma 2, right? Now position of the bird after 4 seconds. So now t is equals to 4, right? 4 seconds. Time is in seconds. So therefore, this should be, when I substitute t as 4, I get x of 4 equals to 4 plus 10 times 4, which is 44 and y of 4 equals to 2 minus 5 times 4 which is 2 minus 20 or minus 18. So the position is 44 minus 18, right? Speed of the bird. The equation given to us is in parametric form which gives you the distance, right? Starting from the position 4, 2. So in this, if I write this equation uh, in the vector form, let's say, right, x, y equals 2, it is 4, 2 plus t 10 minus 5. Then in this equation, this is distance, right? Or I should say position. This is initial position. And that represents change in position. That represents change in position, right? As you know, distance is related with speed and time. So distance is equals to speed into time, right? So this part right inside directly gives you the velocity. This part is the velocity, right? So from here, we can read the velocity. So, so the velocity is equals to 10, I mean, minus five. Speed is magnitude of velocity. So speed is magnitude of velocity. Therefore, it is square root of 10 square plus minus 5 square square root. So that is how you are going to find speed from the given equation, right? So you can always use the calculator, figure this out. So 100 plus 25 square root. And uh, we can write this as square root of 125 which is equal to in decimals 11.18 so in decimals you could write 11.18 meters per second so that is how you can find velocity from the given equation
I hope that's absolutely clear. Now let's move on to the next question. Thank you and all the best.